What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So now we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. I think we're about two weeks out. And I was thinking to myself, I said there could be a few of you guys that want to get into drones this year. So what I have in my hand right here is my DJI Mavic Mini 1. And what I want to do for you guys is help you make a decision on what drone you should pick up for yourself by showing you what comes with the Mavic Mini 1 and showing you some of the footage that you can get with this drone right here. Now keep in mind, there are other drones out there, more advanced ones. This is the Mavic Mini 1. There is a Mavic Mini SE as well as a Mavic Mini 2. But we're going to take a look at this one. We're going to dive into the box, see what comes with this Fly More combo. And like I said, if you stay to the end of the video, I'll show you guys some footage that I put together today so that it can help you make a decision on what drone you should get. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So this is the Mavic Mini 1. So earlier in the video, I said there was a Mavic Mini 1, a Mavic Mini SE, and a Mavic Mini 2. Um, so just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a difference between those uh, three drones, this is the Mavic Mini 1. The Mavic Mini 1 and the Mavic Mini SE are kind of the same drone. It's kind of weird because they came out with the Mavic Mini 1 first, then they came out with the Mavic Mini 2, and then they came out with the Mavic Mini SE. But the Mavic Mini SE sits in the middle because it is a hybrid between the 1 and the 2. However, it is more, in a sense, the same as the one it's very very weird so i would just kind of scratch out the se if you're going to get any one of these uh drones i would go with the one or the two i would just completely get scratch the uh, se so the difference between the one and the two is uh the controls um two has a different controller the two also has like OcuSync and things like that and the two overall shoots at 4k and the one which is what i have here shoots at 2.7k and like i said they do have different controllers and things like that the mavic mini 2 also has um just a little bit of a better signal um so that it doesn't lose connection not saying that the one always loses connection but um they did update that as far as uh the two is concerned all right so what i have here is my mavic mini one this is the fly more combo but i do want to let you guys know uh that i am missing my propeller guards I misplaced them somewhere here in the house and I can't find them but just know that with the fly more combo you do get propeller guards so that you can fly around in the house and things like that um, or if you're flying outside and you're a little nervous you can put the propeller guards on so in case you crash you don't damage your propeller so with the Mavic Mini 1 uh, you're gonna get this hard shell case right here with the Mavic Mini 2 you're gonna get a soft case so just keep that in mind too so you're gonna get this hard case you're gonna get two propeller guards and uh, once you open it up you're gonna have uh, your charging cable right here you're going to have your actual controller right here with your antennas and once you open up the controller you're gonna have your uh, knobs right here so you would just screw these in uh, just like that as you can see and the other one is here just screw it in and then you're gonna have all your cables and stuff down here you have your uh, iPhone cord here and they do come with uh, multiple cords for different phones I just have the iPhone so that's the one I plugged in but keep in mind in these little boxes uh, there are other accessories that allow you to use other uh, cell phones as well so you're gonna get your controller let me put this back you're gonna get your controller let me move that off then you're gonna get uh, three batteries one comes with the uh, Mavic Mini in general but you're gonna get two extra batteries with this actual battery charging case and right here on the side of this battery charging case you can uh, plug it in and charge it and if you want to plug in like your phone or something uh, this acts as a charging hub as well so you can plug in your phone in here and charge up your phone uh, but you're going to get three batteries and i think you get about 30 minutes of flight time between 20 to 30 minutes of flight time off each battery so just keep that in mind as well uh, then down in here you're going to get your little spare parts other you're going to get your propellers spare parts and other little cables and stuff to plug into your actual uh, controller right here then after that, you're going to have your actual drone right here. Uh, looking at it from the bottom, you're gonna have a little cover for your actual um, camera as far as the gimbal is concerned. Uh, you'll open it up just like this. Let's see if I can do this real quick. You're gonna open this bad boy up like this. And it is very, very small. It's very, very light and very, very compact. Uh, right here in the back, open this up. This is where the battery is gonna go. Uh, this is where your micro SD card is going to go right here as you can see micro SD card and this is where you're going to plug it in to charge if you have a battery in it you can charge it on the go and you can plug it into a computer so that you can read what's on the actual SD card as well so I put a link in the description where you can get the uh, Mavic Mini 1 and the Mavic Mini 2 as well uh, but just keep in mind this is everything that you're going to get uh, when it comes down to the uh, DJI Mavic Mini 1 I have no complaints about this drone I've had this drone since it really um, honestly since it came out and I really have nothing to complain about with this drone. It has held up. 
I haven't had any crashes. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, firmware updates are still coming out for this drone too. So uh, that's another thing uh, to keep in mind. You're still getting your firmware updates with this drone. I just got one recently, probably on November 30th. If I'm not mistaken, we got a firmware update. So I love this drone. It's very, very small, very compact. Um, and another big thing to note about this drone is that it's 249 grams. So therefore it doesn't have to be registered currently right now. It doesn't have to be registered. Um, so keep that in mind, 249 grams. You don't have to register this. So if you want to fly it, you should be able to go out and fly it recreational uh, and things like that. So uh, real quick, what I want to do for you guys, like I said earlier in the video, is that I want to show you guys some footage from this drone. And I want you to drop me a comment below and let me know what you guys think of the actual footage. Uh, this video was was not intending to be was not intended to be uh, long. I just wanted to show you guys a drone and just give you other options in case you were on the fence about getting one in general. So let's go ahead and take a look at that footage and then we'll come back and wrap this video up. Right, guys so hopefully this video has helped you decide on what drone you should get for yourself whether that be an entry-level drone an intermediate one or one of those advanced drones but if you did find this video helpful in any way don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that like button so that the youtube algorithm can be nice to this video it's been your man jay and i'll see y'all in the next one peace